everyone. Hi. This is Trina with Morelli Entrepreneur Training for Women. I am sitting with Michelle Bryant Griffin, the owner of Focus on Fabulous, which is creative photography and magazine. Um, plus, she's had other businesses that we're going to get into in just a second. I'm interviewing Michelle today because we are having this awesome panel at Marie Talks on June 22nd of entrepreneurs who are really going to give you the real story. They're going to tell you exactly what it's like to run their own business. Now, Michelle is going to be one of our panelists. So, Michelle, how many businesses have you run? Um, personally, my own, probably, right off the top of my head, I would say at least six. At least six. And that's what you're going to find a lot of entrepreneurs. They try it, and then they try it again, and then they try it again, because there's something in entrepreneurs that just say, I don't want to work that hard. I want to do my own thing. So, give us an example of, like, what is some advice that you got early on when you first started your business that you think, that you wish you'd known earlier? Um, I think some advice that I wish, I, I don't know, I never really got... Most of the advice I got when I said I was going to do was, you know, that I was crazy and don't do it. <laughs> so don't that. take that advice yeah. because people don't typically understand that we are a rare breed. Um, I just pushed through and did my thing. And I think if I had advice to offer somebody, I would say just understand that doors are going to close and no's are going to happen, but just keep pushing forward and keep pursuing your dream. Every little step. I mean, because I know for me, sometimes it's like, oh, am I ever going to get there? You know, but every little step is a step in the right, right in direction. Towards forward. Right. Towards, towards that end goal. Right. And that is like so important that you don't give up, that you set a goal, and that's, that's the key right there, is you have to have a goal. You have to know where you're going. And then you just try to do something every day to get there. Get a little closer. Get a little closer. And that's all you have to do is every day get closer. And I found, too, that I have a goal. You know, I have this big goal, this big dream, which, you know, it's like any anything like losing weight. You want to lose 100 pounds. That seems insurmountable. But if you start, I just want to lose 5. I just want to lose 10. Whatever. So I would start with just a 30-day plan, then a 90-day plan, then a 6-month plan. And then eventually, and that's what I meant by the little steps. Because eventually you're going to get to that ultimate big goal. That's right. Without looking at the overwhelming thing going, oh no, that's never going to happen. Because what is that quote, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're probably right. Yes. I, if I have a little goal like, oh, I could do that, that's no big deal. You know, I, I could do anything for two weeks or a month or whatever. <laughs> you know, but if I look at that big, I go, oh, no, I can't do that. So right. it's just really changing your attitude and your mindset. Right. And so and some of your advice is chunk it down to manageable definitely. steps. Yes. So, I mean, that's a great thing. You're going to hear a lot more tips like that when you come to Marie Talks on June 22nd. Look below. There's the link to buy tickets. And we'll see you there. See you there.